in the morning she would be the lovely mum that everybody knew and loved and you know people used to say that she had this amazing personality when she wasn't drinking and she was an amazing person and she was she was fantastic but when she'd had a few drinks it was like Jekyll and Hyde and she was just a different person it's a nice one that is nice well, 24 year old Emily Miller can barely remember a time when her mother Carmel wasn't drinking when I think about it I think it was all very hidden and um, so things like um Wine, wine, wine wasn't in glasses, wine was in mugs, and that was just something that I was used to. It wasn't a cup of tea that was there every morning, it was a mug of wine. I'd go for juice and there'd be wine somewhere in the back of the cupboard, or I'd throw something in the bin and there'd be yesterday's wine bottle or that morning's wine bottle. Or... And she said, OK. Her mother began to struggle looking after her, Emily turning up at friends' houses dirty and hungry. As a teenager, she says she began to distance herself from her mum, their days spent um, together, ruined yeah. by drink. In Suffolk at my grand's. I try and make sure that the things that we were going to do were, you know, fun and, and interactive and, and we'd keep her busy and maybe she wouldn't think about having a drink or, you know, she'd want to just see me for me and, and not need a drink. I didn't enjoy the point of the day because it was so regular where I knew she would turn, her mood would turn and it was like, right, it's, it's time to leave. And I shouldn't do that to my mum. I shouldn't have to leave my mum's house after an hour. How would you describe day-to-day -day life, for example? Uh, um, so I'd describe it bit messy, very messy. Ten-year-old Brittany's straightforward description of life with an alcoholic parent. For her and her 14-year-old brother, Jack, her father's drinking meant life was often chaotic and miserable, feeling they were never the priority. He always used to um, come in into the front room with a, with a can of beer or a no wine. And he always used to, like, drink. get really money and drank quite a lot. Made me feel angry and upset, and I just thought that he should at least spend it on his own kids instead of himself. I couldn't talk to anyone about it. I just kept it to myself. I felt really lonely. They now live with their aunt and uncle after it was decided their parents could no longer look after them. They've had specialist support from the Oasis project and say their lives are without question better now, but they haven't stopped caring about their dad. Did you worry about him? Yeah, yeah, just in case something bad happened to him, like maybe die. And is me and Jack love him very much. We don't want him to die. Feeling conflicted about alcoholic parents doesn't always change when you grow up. Emily's mother died three years ago. Did you love her? Um, <laughs> yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. At times, yeah, and at times, no. I don't know. It's a difficult question. She was my mum, so I'm inclined to say, yeah. So do you miss her? Um, like I say, now now time's passed, and um, I look at pictures and things like that. I don't know. I think I miss the idea of what could have been, but maybe not so much. I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe not so much the reality. Yeah. That's the word. <laughs>